To God be the glory and welcome to this, your real illuminating moment. I'm O.W. Prince. We cannot all be on one accord and of one mind and of one hope as the apostles and the disciples of the Holy Messiah were and in the day of Pentecost. Because we do not all know the same thing and we do not all obey the divine truth. And Christianity, with all of her different and opposing denominations and churches and ministries, has made very sure that no Christian will ever be on one accord. Because Christianity is divided into over 30,000 different denominations, ministries, and belief systems. How can such a splintered group or institutional faith ever be on one accord? with one mind and one hope. Satan has done her job as she has done it quite well. Now the decision is ours. Will we continue down this road of destruction and division? Therefore, if you have any encouragement in Christ, if any comfort from his love, if any fellowship with the Holy Spirit, if any affection and compassion, then make my joy complete by being one-minded, having the same love, being united in spirit and purpose. Live in harmony with one another. Do not be proud, but enjoy the company of the lowly and do not be conceited. Now may the God who gives endurance and encouragement grant you harmony with one another in the anointed one of Yahweh. For just as the body is one and has many members, and all the members of the body, though many, are one body, so it is with the anointed one of God. For in one spirit we were all baptized into one body. Jews, Greeks, slaves, or free. It really doesn't matter. All were made to drink of one spirit. May God be glorified, my friends, and repent. I'm O.W. Prince, and this has been your real illuminating moment. And as always in parting, many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivers him out of them all. Life hurts, but God heals. Keep looking up.